Recording in progress. Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Bruchem Abohem. We're continuing Hilchos Tefillah, Simen Peites. So last night I was at a chasana, and I... On the way home, I was in a car with Rabbi Sor Reisman, so I asked him some of the questions we've been dealing with. Firstly, you know, it's very interesting. The Mechaber said in, in Sif Aleph that if somebody made a mistake and he violated and he davened after four hours, he'll, he'll get credit for tefillah but not for tefillah bismana, which is the same for a woman. In other words, a woman who davens then, a woman who davens then will not get credit for tefillah bismana. Now, the Mishabura said, if you're going to daven after four hours, it's not Pasha you're allowed to. You should daven as a Tzilas Nadava because some place can say you're not allowed to daven. So I asked Reisman, should w women be told not to daven then? He said, absolutely yes, of course, you're Mechoyev to tell women that they're not allowed to do that. They can't do it. Moreover, you need to tell them that you're not allowed to say Birchus Krishma. You're not allowed to say Berchus Krishma. Women cannot say, or men, you cannot say Berchus Krishma if you daven after the Zman Tefillah. So not only do you not get Zman uh, credit for davening, you can't fully daven. Now, the Goyin is Meiko, by the way. The Gro is Meiko, which may be why in, uh, in some girls' schools they tell them that they could daven. But it's not La Halacha, we say, A, L'Charchil, you're not allowed to daven, and B, you're not allowed to say Berchus Krishma after the uh, Zman Tfila. Next, we uh, wanted to know why the Mishnah Bura, uh did not sort of uh, endorse the Tanai of Rabbi Kiv Eger and Naaman Lodi Behuda that if you're davening Shachris after Chatzois, you can make a Tanai. Namely, like this If I'm still allowed to daven Shachris because it's not the Zman Mincha yet, so I'm going to daven Shachris and then in a half hour daven Mincha. Elamai, it's the Zman Mincha. This will be the Mincha. This will be the mincha and I'll be davening shachris later. In other words, Elamai, I'm not allowed to daven shachris. This will be the mincha. I suggested that maybe the reason the Mishnah Bura doesn't like it is because even if you're not allowed to daven shachris, because it's zman mincha, but lechatchila, it's not the zman mincha, so you're not davening mincha, lechatchila. Yeah, so um, he heard that. Okay, we're continuous of Bayes. In Sif Beis, we read so far that once the Zman Tefillah comes, you're not allowed to go to your friend's door and say Shalom, because Shalom is the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but you're allowed to say, morning of the Master is good, or in English we say, good morning. By the way, it's very, that we, could, uh, we could learn an important halacha from here, that after davening, yeah, when you see someone, what do you say? You say, good morning, right? You see a very important halacha. After the Zman Tefillah, if you see someone, then you say, good morning. Now, even to say, good morning, before the Zman Tefillah, I'm sorry, even to say, good morning, after the Zman Tefillah, is only mutter if you had other reason to be near him. But if you only went to him, you can't say, good morning, you can't say, I go to Morgan, you can't say, Vas is nigh, you can't greet him. In other words, you can't go over to your friend before you daven, once the Zman Tefillah comes, and say good morning. Now we're going to see what about if you said brachas. Yesterday we saw in the Mishnah Bura that this, begins, this prohibition begins from Alois HaShachar. And it's not only going to your friend's house, it's also leaving your Makam Kavua and going to his Makam Kavua. And it doesn't matter if he's your father or your Rebbe, fine. Now if you bump into him, you could be Mekel if he's a Gavra Alama to say Shalom, because Stamazoi, if you bump into somebody, it might be permitted. Now, we're up to Sivkat and Yeraf, the Shmai, the name of Hashem Hashem, the Ein Roy Lahaskir Shmai Ala Adam, Ula Chabdoi, Kadosh Chab Lakash Baruch. It's not permitted, it's not, it's not proper. It's not proper to mention the name of God and to honor God, or I'm sorry, and to honor your friend, before you honor HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So it's not permitted, it's not proper to mention God's name on a person before you honor Hashem. What if you say peace? What if you say peace unto you?
Meaning, again, you're not even allowed to say good morning if you go to his door first. But if you have other business, were you allowed to say good morning? The question is, are you allowed to say peace unto you? Mistaber, that if you say the merciful one shall mercy on you, or the gracious one should be gracious to you, that's permitted. By the way, what about, what, what is this talking about? Th then it's permitted? Why is this permitted? You're, because you're being mevarechim with the name of Hashem? But you're not to say shalom. Maybe because that itself is a way of being mechabed Hashem? You're saying the ra harachim, the hachanan? Okay, so to go to your friend's door, you're not allowed to say Shalom. To say good morning, that you could do if you have other reason to be, to be there. What about to say Mazel Tov? The Shevar Levi says Mazel Tov is different. It's not like saying Shalom. And even on, uh, I saw on uh, Tisha B'av, if somebody has a Simcha, you're allowed to say Mazel Tov. That's not called greeting them. Okay. You have to go through your friend's courtyard to see uh, whatever geshef you have. And Agavorcha, you go and you say it's Tav. What about some people by an afraf? They, uh, what's the Yiddish expression? Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi Yankel. What do you call when you, buy, you, you bring the chasen to shul and you sing him to shul? The what? Shil Firin? I think, okay. Shil, Shil Firin. The Shil Firin. It's not called Baglite? To bag yeah, that also. yeah that, Baglite to chasen. How do you, you like that? Yeah, you like that. Okay. Um, fine. So, so he brings over here, if you want to escort the chassan to show Shabbos morning, the chassan love him brings, it could be, <laughs> you could sing, but you can't say good morning. <laughs> you can't say, why? You have other business. I have to be here anyway to, to sing you to the, to the shul. I have to shield fair in you anyway. Once I'm there, I might as well say good morning. Anyway, everybody knows that if you wish somebody good morning on Shabbos, it's like you're a guy. You know, you can't say good morning on Shabbos morning. Good morning? Forget it. You'll never get, your family is doomed if you say, to say good morning to someone on Shabbos morning. Are you allowed to say good Shabbos? You're allowed to go to someone's house and say good Shabbos. No, it's like saying good morning. Are you allowed to wish someone good Shabbos on the way to Shul? Yeah, of course, because you're going to Shul anyway. Are you allowed to say to someone on the way to Shul, Shalom Aleichem? Absolutely not. You can't do it. I, he's not going to talk to you. Hey, he doesn't talk to you anyway. You know? No, but you can't, you can't say Shalom Aleichem to someone on the way to Shul. You can't say Shalom Aleichem to someone on the way to Shul. Right? Because... It's only the heter of good morning is, first of all, only if you have other business. So I'm on the way to shul, we'll call that other business. There's no heter of saying shalom to somebody, even if you have other business. So I'm on my way to shul, say good morning, come up, there are other greetings, top of the morning, daven good, it's great to see you, you look wonderful, you look terrible, whatever you want to say, but don't say shalom aleichem. Don't say you look terrible either. What? The Mahlokas coming in about now. We didn't, we didn't, this is so far what we learned. <laughs> the Mechaber then says, Now, V'im hischa levarich ha-brachas. Let's say you already started making the brachas, Achar kach, Ein lachash kol kach. If you already began to make the brachas, you don't have to be so concerned. What does this mean? V'yei shoymrim, says the Mechaber, 
וכן יש של הירויס, אין לחש, פרש דה אז מותר לכרויה כשאין משכן לפסחי. Then you're allowed to bow if you don't go to his door. אבל במשכן לפסחי to go to his door, בין לכרויה, באוי נשינה שלום, אפילו היסחו ברוך יש אסר. So now, if you, according to this, if you started to say the brachas, what does that mean, started to say the brachas? Which brachas? Let's say you said, al natil siyadayim. Is that the brachas? Is that good enough? Asher yatsar? Berchas ha I would say, I don't know if this is true, that if you, if you said brachas with which you'll be mekayim tefillah da'iraisa, then you could greet someone. Now, which brachos do you come to? What do you need? You need hoida and bakasha. So, Natil Siyadayim ain't gonna do it. Asher Yatsar l'choyra ain't gonna do it. Eloikai Neshama I'm not sure. I think we say it does do it, no? Eloikai Neshama for sure does it. So if you said Berchas HaToyra and you meet someone on the street, you could say Shalom Aleichem. But what if you know the guy didn't say Shalom Aleichem? Is he allowed to say Aleichem Shalom Be'al? Let's say you didn't say bar, uh, Shalom Aleichem and a guy says Shalom Aleichem to you and you didn't say Berchaz HaToyrah yet. Are you allowed to span, s- respond Aleichem Shalom? Of course not. No, I don't, I'm not sure, but I don't think so. You say, mm, 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 mm. Or you could, ha- you, could have a, you could have a card that says Aleichem Shalom on it. Or better yet, say Berchaz HaToyrah before you go to Shul. Fine. Now the Mechaber continues. Are you allowed to respond and say, I can't say, I can't respond because it's very clear that is that, uh, is that a halacha? We have to find the Berchaz HaToyrah. You didn't say Berchaz Are you allowed to respond, I can't answer you because I didn't say Berchaz HaToyrah. Yeah, because I'm down here and it's very clear. Like in the bathroom. Right, we said that over there, you can't, Me- over there you can't respond, a halacha. Mm-hmm. L'chara, that's hear her. Here it's going to be taught, there's machlekes, whether you're allowed to learn before uh, we hear her. Okay. Ve'im enoi mashkim lepischa, let's say you don't go to his door, ela shepaga boi bederech, motor litein shalom. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um... I, I skipped. The first day holds that if you're going to go to his door, you can't bow. Some say, you can't bow even if you didn't go to his door. Even though you didn't go to his door, you can't bow as a sign of deference. If you began to say the brachas, you don't have to be so concerned. So, w- one second, I just want to clarify the reading. The first day of holds, you can never say shalom. What, or, you can't bow. Some say, um, you can't bow, right? The first day of holds, you can't bow when you go to his door. Some say you can't bow even if you meet him. Now, then the Mechaber says, if you said brachas, you don't have to be so concerned to do what? Then, the, so the Mishabro says, you could bow when you don't go to his door, but to go to his door, bein l'chroya, or nesil shalom, even if you began, brachos is aser. So you can't go to someone's door after brachos and say shalom, but, by the way, which means, you can't go over to someone in shul after brachas and say shalom, even according to this daya. Even according to this daya, if you said brachas, you still can't go over to him in shul. So what's the kula of this daya? The kula of this daya is that if you were maschal b'brachas, you could do kriya b'loy mashkim le or you could say shalom 
Beloi mas um Beloi hishkim lepischai vim enoi mashkim lepischai ela shapaga boy baderach motor liten leishalim. And if you don't go to his door, but you meet him, you could give him shalom. Is that only if you began brachos, or even if you didn't begin brachos? And does the first day I argue on this? Lachayra, yes. And when the Mishabrua says v'chein yesh lahayrois, is that only going on? I feel um, the kriya. Uh, is that only going on? V'yeshayimim the kriya asura afilu b'loy mashkim lepischa. It's going on the chumra. That kriya is asur even if you don't go to his door. Some say that even if you meet someone on the street, you just say good morning. So that you realize that you should not engage in other things before you daven. Lamaisa, it's going to come out like this. If you see your friend in the sh uh, on the street, meyikar din, you'd be allowed to say um, shalom, but the minig is not to. We don't do it. We don't do it. Why? Chumrah. This way you don't get ca caught up. In other words, meyikar din. We're going to. It sounds like we're going to paskin like the yeshayimrim that im enoi mashkim lepischai muter litein le shalom. But this, and who is that? Whose shita is this? This is Arches Chaim of Luniel. However, the Yesh Oymrim, whose machma is the Ravid and the Rajma, says the Mishnah Bura. This Yesh Oymrim, that if you see your friend in the street, you shouldn't say Shalom, that's even if you always do. Why? Even though Medina is Mutter. Not to do what you usually do. Now, this is very interesting. What if somebody usually says, Gut Morgen? Rabbi Yosef Chaim